the next problem and we want to know express the distance of a function of time and here we have two cars that are approaching an intersection at um, two miles south of the intersection one is moving at a constant speed of 10 miles per hour at the same time the other car is approaching at the intersection and moving at a speed of 20 miles per hour so from there uh, we want to know uh, what so from there we want to know express the distance d between the cars as a function of time so all right so we're going to take a look at that and so here we have two cars and they're approaching an intersection okay so here's one car and here's another car and they're, they're going so there's a distance between them and we said that one car is moving at one is two miles south of the intersection um, moving constant speed of 10 miles an hour so that rate is uh, 10 miles per hour At the same time, the other car is five miles east. And that's moving 20 miles per hour. That rate is 20. Okay, and so. From here, what we need to do is we need to come up with our distance is going to be basically, if we look at this in terms of the Pythagorean theorem, we'll call this D1, we'll call this D2. In other words, from the intersection to the first car, that's D1. From the intersection to the other car, that's D2. And then here, we'll just call this total distance between the two just D. So if we apply the Pythagorean theorem here. This is the distance of the hypotenuse, so the distance between the two cars equals to the distance of the one car. Oops. The distance of the one car squared plus the distance of the second car squared. All right, so basically what we're looking at here, we need to come up with an equation for this distance. So D2 is going to be the, the total distance, which is 5, minus rate times time of the car. In other words, if the car was going five miles an hour, in an hour it would get to the intersection because it's five miles. So five times one that'd be five. And so you you'd be so in a half hour it'd be half that distance. So and so that's why we need the distance is five minus rate times time. So this would be 5 minus, since the rate is 20, that would be 20t. So d1, we said that was 2 miles. So that's going to be 2 minus, and then rate times time. And so that'll be 2 minus 10 T. Okay, 
okay so this will be distance squared is equal to distance 1 squared that will be 2 minus 10 t parentheses squared plus and then d2 parentheses squared well we know d2 that's 5 minus 20 t So of course, you know, it's like we're going to FOIL that, right? 2 minus 10t times 2 minus 10t. And then this will, the other one, that'll be 5 minus 20t times 5 minus 20t. So that's equal to d squared still. And so this will be d squared. Well, 2 times 2, that's 4. This will be minus 20t and a minus 20t, that will be a minus 40t. T and then this is a 10 T here 10 T times 10 T that'll be plus 100 T squared and now we do the other one and so that'll be 5 times 5 that's 25 and then this will be 5 times 20 that's 100 minus 100 minus 100 that'll be minus 200 T and then 20 plus uh, tw negative 20 times negative 20 that will be 400 T squared and so we want to simplify that and so that will be D squared and so we've got 100 T and 400 T that's going to be 500 T squared Okay, so we got 100t squared and 400t squared, that's 500t squared. And we've got a minus 40t and a minus 20t, 200t, so that'll be minus 240t. And um, we've got a positive 4 and positive 25, that'll be plus 29. And then from here, we need to isolate that d further, so we are going to apply square root. square root and since we never look at distance in a negative measurement we just drop the plus or minus and so this will be a function of D in terms of T is equal to the square root of 500 T squared minus 240t plus 29 okay and so that is our function in terms of time express the distance d between the cars as a function of time t alright so that's our answer for part A. All right, and so from here, use a graphing utility to graph D. For what value of D is of time is D the smallest? So we would plug that into our calculator, and let's see what we what we get here. So. Um, we're going to go to y equals and we're going to 
hit second and square root and we're going to put in this um, 500 um, and you can use x it doesn't have to be t so we're going to use x squared instead of t squared we'll just use x squared minus 240 x plus 29 and we're going to go to um, zoom fit which um, is zero and it looks pretty close to uh, an absolute value graph. Alright, so now we're going to go to second and calc and three for minimum. Left bound, cursor to the left, hit enter. Right bound, cursor to the right, hit enter. One more time. And we get 0.239989 and it goes on. So um, we're going to round that to 0.24. So part B, uh, we get something, our graph is going to look something like this, and it's a little bit off-center from uh, the y-axis. And so we get x is equal to uh, 0.2399, so we're going to round that to 0.24. Is where x is at its uh, minimum, so or time is at its minimum. So in other words, 0.24 seconds. So as um, the cars get closer, the the time is a function of time or your distance uh, decreases.